Wow, Cyber. Wow, Cam. You guys look so cute right here. All right, let's start. What's up, guys? Today in this video, we have a lot going on. We got a Q&A, and then at the end, we got a surprise box opening. Oops, I just spoiled it. Uh, stay till the end to watch it. They open up some gifts, the dogs, and that's why you're here. So stay tuned for more. And good job for letting me do that intro without whining, Cyber. Sit. Wow, very good. Very good boy. Oh, Cam, you want to do a trick too? Get up on a chair. Good girl. All right, all right, all right. What's up guys? So today in this video, we're doing a little bit of a Q&A. These are questions that I vaguely remember from the comments and I will post a screenshot of the actual comment once I'm home and I can search it, but I'm driving right now. Now, if you guys don't care about the questions and me talking, just mute this video, play your favorite music and just watch the dogs in the background. I just noticed I had my address on the box that whole time, like an idiot. Someone basically said they really wanted, um, you know, a breed like Cyber, but their significant other is terrified of dogs. You know, maybe they just wanted a dog in general. I can't remember if it was a dog or Doberman. So I'm gonna put myself in your shoes. Let's say I'm in a relationship with someone, I want a dog and they don't. You know, right away, you guys gotta make sure you're 100% on the same page when it comes to getting another animal, because then that poses a, you know, a risk of, you guys, you know, let's say you get the dog and she's not 100% on board and then you're 100% on board and you know, that might cause some some issues, you know. I'm not trying to say your relationship is gonna have problems. I'm not trying to say any of that, but I'm saying it's a potential. You know, it's, de it's definitely a factor. You know, if, if she's not going 100% and you are, you know, you're gonna be doing 100% of the work with the puppy. And it's not like you can say, oh, okay, well, she doesn't want to get a dog, but I'll get a dog and I'll do all the work because that's not the case. That dog is going to take up space in the house. That dog is going to take up a lot of your attention. And, you know, I'm sure she wants as much of your attention as possible. So she might get a little bit jealous. And I've, I've gotten jealous over my own dog, Cammy with my mom. So let alone a significant other that's terrified of that thing is now jealous on top of it because you're not giving her as much attention anymore because now you have another responsibility you know let's take the metaphor of a pool when you're in the pool you got a dog right and let's say you just want you know she she might be scared of the water being too cold or something like that so she just wants to dip her toe in using that metaphor you can't just grab your you know your so and jump into the water with her not knowing what the temperature is or anything like that. You wanna dip her toe into the water, you know, grab her hand and slowly walk into the water together. I think a good starting step for getting your significant other comfortable with dogs would to be, hey, let's go on a walk, but plan it so you walk past a dog park. Your goal for this is to just either walk right next to the gate where, you know, there's like a six foot fence at the least guarding you from the dog, so there's no way they're gonna get to her most of those dogs are most likely gonna be interacting with each other, so they're not really gonna pay her attention. And, you know, you might get the dogs that like to bark at the fence, you know, for people walking by, but if that's the case, keep an eye. Before you get there from a distance, if you can see, uh, looks like there's some dogs that are barking a little bit loud by the gate, Let's, let's go on the other side of the street. That way she can watch from a distance. And that's just to get her comfortable with the idea of her seeing dogs and that she's not gonna get, you know, bit or anything like that. Then the next step, step two, is maybe now go to a local pet shop where they have puppies on display. I'm not saying I support buying one from some of these places, but all I'm saying is they usually have the cutest, most adorable little dogs in these, these little play pens. And, you're a psychopath if you can't go in there and you know pet a dog now i'm not trying to say all people afraid of dogs are psychopaths that was really just a joke but it's to give you an idea of how cute these dogs are like i, I just don't understand how you can go in some of these stores and, and see these like little there's like it, it's just so cute there's like these little tiny gates and just little tiny animals you can just pet and they can love you so yeah, I would highly recommend checking it out. Step three, maybe now she's comfortable with petting a dog. See if you can find a friend or family member that has a dog that you know is a well-behaved, obedient dog and just work into 
her being in the same house as that dog, then the same room as that dog, then maybe, you know, within six feet of that dog, then maybe she's petting that dog now. Work your way up for her being comfortable with all the stuff that has to do with the dog. You know, I can talk about this forever and I gotta get to one more question, but how I would sum it up is make sure your girlfriend is comfortable with the idea of dogs before you even think about bringing a dog into your shared home, which is what I assume. If you guys live separate, that's a whole nother video. Hopefully I gave you some insight on this, uh, but yeah, just work your way up for her being comfortable with dogs. And then maybe just, you know, it might take some time. Maybe she will want a dog someday and maybe she won't, you know? For me personally, if my significant other wasn't a dog person, I don't think we would be significant others. That's all I'm saying, man. <laughs> uh, next question was how would I convince my parents to let me get a dog? And uh, that's definitely a video on its own, which I can definitely do. If we get enough people in the comments saying they wanna see that, I'll definitely make a full video on this. But how I would sum this up in one to two minutes is to just show that your parents that, you know, I don't want this dog for a gift. I want this dog so I can share experiences with this dog. Now, a point that you could say that would convince your parents to let you get a dog would be, well, with Corona, you know, we're home all the time. We definitely could use, you know, a new vibe going around a dog. And, you know, getting a puppy right now is honestly the best time because, I mean, you know, we're all kind of stuck inside. So you might as well be stuck inside training your dog when you have all this time to do that you know you're gonna be home to let the puppy out you're gonna be home to feed the dog you're gonna be home to take care of it and you know that's just what you got to prove to your parents man and uh, i appreciate you guys watching you just really got to show that you're gonna take care of it and you know it does all come down to if your parents are gonna say yes or no because i'm assuming they're the ones buying it you know and housing the space for it and they house you so yeah uh you know keep trying if you can't convince them just keep getting responsible, keep saving money. You know, if they keep saying no until you move out, but you've been saving money and working on your responsibilities in that whole time, by the time you move out, man, you'll have so much money saved and just all the knowledge when it comes to raising that dog and it'll be a perfect bond. But you just wanna make sure that you're ready when it comes down to it. Hope this information helped. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I really appreciate them. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Have a good one, bye. All right, this is Cyber's gift. The two cyber from Daniel and Boom. All right, here you go, cyber. You can open it. No, don't bite the whole box. Just, no, 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 no. Just bite the ribbon off. Just take the ribbon off. Come on. Get this. Take off this little piece. Yeah, good boy. Hold on, kid. Yeah, that's right. This piece. Get this piece right here. Good job. Um, oh, okay. There you go. Here's it. Okay. We got a calendar for dogs. So it's December 1st. Hold on. Yeah, you gotta help me take the plastic off. You sit down. Just be patient. I need you to bite this. Thank you. So this is Cybers. You leave it there, you wait. I know, it smells good. Good, leave it. Sit. Good dog. There you go. Good girl. All right. Now we got Cammies. Cammie with a C. Be really gentle. Just get the corners. Yeah, just get the corners. No. That's too much. That's too much. No, <laughs> that's, that's too much. Yeah, there you go. Good that's boy. It. Okay, now just wait. Can we be a good girl by waiting? Good waiting. Hold on. All right. Anybody want this piece? Okay, now I need help with the paper, okay? Just get the, just get the paper. Just the paper, baby. There you go. Get the tiny piece. Get the tiny. No, not the whole box. Not the whole box. Let's just do this. 
There you go. There you go. Get the paper. Good job. Cammy, I need help with this. Get, get this piece. Yeah. Good listen. Sorry, you help with this piece. Good boy. Thank you so much, Sadie. That's a good boy. Ah, uh, Cammy. He's trying to take his treat. Here you go. Good boy. Alright. Uh, 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 don't go in my pocket. Oh, she took it. So this is Cypher's. So number one is... Ooh. Cammy, no, this is Cypher's. Hold on. Check this out. Holy moly. Can you sit down for it and be a little bit more patient? Give Cammy high five. Give Cammy high five. Give Cammy high five. No, no. No speaking. No. no. Touch Cammy. There you go. Cammy, now you sit. Sit. Get off me. Get off. Okay, just wait, okay? This is Cyber. This is yours. This one right here. Look it. Oh, look, Cammy. You got one too. Yeah, go in your crate. Okay, or that way. She went right down to my bed. What the I'm going to have to put these away every day and take them out for the videos. But this is day one. Stay tuned for all uh, 24, 25 days. I don't know. Whatever this is. All right, bye.